What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Now, this week is going to be a little bit different. What we're going to do this week for, um, I guess, this week, just for this week only, is there's actually a regional that's happening coming up, and that is Charlotte Regionals. So what we're going to be doing this week is testing a bunch of different standard decks that we really haven't covered on this channel that I think are very, that could have, like, good potential uh, for Charlotte. And I'm excited to play these decks. I've been testing them some. I've been actually testing for Charlotte, trying to make sure we at least make top... 32, we can finally top 32 out of regionals, so it's really nice. Uh, but today, we are going to cover the Glaceon Zorark deck. Now, this actually is Andrew Wambaltz uh, from the Charizard Lounge. I have a link down below to his article. Um, when he played this deck at Collinsville, he actually played it with Glaceon Garboder. A little bit different of a deck, but now he's playing more of the Zorark variant, just because he doesn't expect as much like the Kabulu and as much Magnezone, since those decks didn't do so well. He thinks it's going to be a lot of Zorark decks and Buzzwall decks, and this deck does do very well against those and that's why we're going to cover this deck today. So let's go over Glaceon. It has that Freezing Gaze ability. As long as Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent's GX and EX in play, and in the discard pile have no abilities except for Freezing Gaze. So this is going to shut down your opponent's Zorks, which is going to be the biggest deck of the weekend. Uh, we only play, we also play our own Zork as well for the trade, Riot is beating of course, but we're going to be able to trade while they can't. Now of course they get Guzma and start trading that way, and I guess that's fine because they're wasting a supporter card and then trading, so it's whatever. But we were playing 3 of the Glaceon. It's got that Frost Bull attack, 90 and 30 damage to one of your opponent's finished Pokemon. We've seen this attack multiple times nowadays. It also has that Polar Spear GX. This attack does 50 damage for each damage counter of your opponent's act Pokemon. So this is really nice because if you do 90 and 30 to like, let's say, a Tapu Lele, and the next turn you use Polar Spear GX on maybe that Tapu Lele or maybe later on, you could do 150 damage, which can knock it out without, without any, like, without using any choice, man, which is fantastic. Uh, he plays a 2 2 Zork, like I said, for the trade. The Riot is beating, of course, really good attack. Maybe put the 90 and 30. And then Zork can also Riot is beating for a knockout with full bench and active is 150 with a choice fan plus 30 is 180. Uh, one Mewtwo for that psychic attack. This attack does 20 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's act Pokemon. Now, this is definitely for the Buzzwall deck to be able to, you know, psychic, take a knockout against Buzzwall and easily take them down, which is really nice. Uh, one Lele, just one, that's fine. We have trades, we have a ton of supporter cards. Uh, and like I said, it's Andrew's list. And one Lapras GX. Now, this Lapras GX does have that Briz Blizzard Burn attack, 160. This Pokemon can't attack during your next turn. It's definitely just like a late game attack where, hey, we need to take a knockout. Let's use Blizzard Burn and take our last two prize cards. And that's why really the Lapras isn't here. You could use Ice Beam GX, but really want to save the GX attack for the Polar Spear GX for sure. So that's going to be all the Pokemon we play. We are playing four Aqua Patch, attach a Water G from your discard pile to one of your bench water Pokemon. And this we can power multiple guys fairly quickly, which is really, really nice. Uh, two E Hammer, of course, there's a ton of special energy in the game, uh, mostly just DCEs. Uh, two Fill Board to get rid of tools, maybe for that Garboder, if we need to do that way, if we need to get rid of those. And he also played one Pal Pad. One Pal Pad, uh, you know, shuffle two supporter cards from your pile back into your deck. There's no puzzles here, so there's really no way to abuse our supporter cards again. So that's why he kind of plays the, order, uh, the Pal Pad in the deck. Uh, one letter, search deck for two energies and reveal them. Now this is really nice because let's say if you have an like, Ultra Ball in hand, you can letter for two water energies and then Ultra Ball in the way to activate the Aqua Patch, which is something really nice in this deck for sure. Uh, one Rescue Stretch to get back three Pokemon or one into your hand. And of course, four Ultra Ball like always in all decks. Uh, two Cynthia, shuffle and draw six new cards. Three Guzma to bring a Pokemon off the bench. Uh, three in, four Sycamore. I uh, just, I don't, I don't know how, where his numbers come from. They might say in the article. I can't really remember too much about that. Uh, for choice pin, we want to hit those good numbers. Uh, be able to do, you know, 120. Cause, uh, so 9, 10, you have to hit 120. And then 9, you have to hit 120 twice to actually knock out a Zara. Cause if you do 90 plus 120, I guess... Nine, yeah, you have to you have to at least hit like one choice span. So with four, you have to like you have to hit the Zark. Has two ten HP. Uh, so we do like ninety and another one twenty. That's enough for a knockout. Um, it's nine. What nine? It's two ten exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's two ten exactly. Yeah, because one twenty plus ninety is two ten. So very nice. You do need those four muscle bands to hit the, the numbers for sure. Also, it can help out with psychic. Make sure you take those uh, knockout with Buzzwall. I don't know the Buzzwall numbers just yet, but we'll, we'll find out if we play against it. I. So just 20 plus 20, so 20, 40, 60, 6, 7, 8, 9. I think they need like 3 energies for them for you to one-shot them with a psychic attack. But then it's fine. Also for Lapras, get that Blizzard Burn off, do 190 if needed, which is really good as Buzzwell as well. Um, just be able to hit 180 one-shot them, which is pretty cool. Uh, for Flowstone, you might be saying, why is there for Flowstone? You don't play Garbodor. Well, you need to get the turn with Glaceon on the Axe spot. 
We do have the Energy Evolution EV. It's like touch a Water Drink, get a Glaceon out. But then if it's not in the active, you need to retreat it. So since you already attached, you can't attach again. But for Flowstone, you should be able to retreat anybody in the active spot and send up whoever you want to. Uh, four DC and seven Water Drink. So that's going to be the deck. It's pretty straightforward. We're just going to use Glaceon, shut down abilities, uh, train, maybe Riot is beating. We have all these backup attackers as well Glaceon. Because Glaceon by itself is not a good deck. But with other guys, it is a fantastic deck. So let's go to Versus. And like I said, if you expect more like Vigabulu or like Magnazo decks, then definitely uh, play the Glaceon and Garboder deck. Uh, Wamble actually talks about his list in the video as well, uh, in his articles. So make sure you check that out. Uh, so yeah, <clears throat> here we go, guys. Let's play three games with the deck uh, for Monday. And then, like I said, throughout the week, throughout the week, we are definitely just going to be testing decks for Charlotte to try to get as prepared as possible. So... We get the mulligan, so does my opponent, but the thing you have to note is that they're going first, so they will have access to use Tapu Lele, use their bridges if they want to go that way, and right now our hand's not degraded. It turns out it's a Glisspod Garboder deck, uh, not Glisspod Garboder, Glisspod Zark deck, which is definitely going to be one of the biggest decks uh, going, to Col uh, going to Charlotte for sure. It, it won regionals, it won another regionals with like counter energy, stuff like that, so it's going to be really interesting to see how this kind of plays out, but... Alright, so imagine, like I said, the problem here is they're going to be use Tapu Lele first and get, get the abilities on board. So the Wimpod coming down, we see a Grass Energy going through the Wimpod, okay. Um, now we can Ultra Ball to start Guzma, whatever, and like I so said, we have Palpad later on if we want to. There's a Cynthia, so no Turwin Bridget, that is fantastic. We gotta hope he doesn't find any Zoras. I mean, even if he does, we can Ultra Ball, get a Eevee out. Oh man, here we go, guys, what we got? There's an Ultra Ball, so Ultra Ball, uh, discard the end of the Ultra Ball, we'll grab an Eevee. Alrighty, so let's grab the Eevee. We will put down the Eevee. Oh, we discarded the wrong card. Just, just gonna, just gonna point that out there. I didn't mean to discard the end. That's fine. We'll, we'll grab a, we'll grab a Cynthia. Yep. <clears throat> Oops. I mean, I guess it's fine. We didn't discard the Guzma, um, and we don't give him a good hand, like a new hand. And, ah, kind of just, kind of just misplay there. Uh, we'll put a Water Gem on the Eevee. Okay. Yes. What's we'll the Pokemon? We're going to have a Glaceon, but unfortunately we did not find a Float Stone. Oh no. So we get a Glaceon though. We get Ultra Ball. I'm going to discard the Choice Fan and Aqua Patch to get into the Zora. Just in case he does knock us out next turn, which is pretty probable. So we're going to have a Zora, put that down. And we're just going to pass on to my opponent's turn. Alright, so no uh, no turn one Freezing Gaze. Why is my screen being so weird right now? Um, I wonder if I can fix this while, we're, while it's playing his turn. Alright, let's see. Let's select this. All right, that looks better. All right, so there, there's a Lele. He's going to be a Bridget now. And this is where, like, it's kind of bad that we didn't, like, get the Flowstone. Uh, but I don't think he's going to be able to take a Knockout now unless he has, like, a Glisspot in hand. All right, there's a Cynthia. So no Bridget here. Very interesting. Did he prize, like, two, like both of his branches, maybe? Maybe he just has one. Um, I don't know. Maybe he wants to take a Knockout this turn. And that's why he's Shuffle Drawing to find, like, a Glisspot this turn and take a Knockout. Maybe that's the case. So there's a Glisspot coming down. And most likely he will take a Knockout here. And there's a D. Okay, actually, we might see a flying flip. Okay. Now, this is actually pretty bad. And the only reason I'm saying this is because my opponent can next turn um, hit a DCE and go for a uh, crossing cut GX for the knockout on our Glaceon, uh, which is not, it's not good for us. So we're going to end here. I know we could end away our, our field blower, maybe draw two cards, but I think I'd rather end, get a new hand. Okay, that's not good. Still, no Floodstone, even though I play four of them. So we'll trade, discard a Water Energy, draw two new cards. All right, so we'll put down the Lapras. We'll put a Water Gen Lapras. Put down uh, Aqua Patch to the Lapras. Oh my goodness, this is not good, guys. This is not good. Uh, we're actually oh, weak to grass as well. I thought it was weak to steal. All right, so there's a Bridget. Why did he grab Bridget turn one? I wonder. Why is he doing that? Why is he doing that now? I'm not 100% sure. So there's a Glisspod. Two Zoros coming on the field. Okay. Let's see. Now, you might be wondering why I didn't play the Enhanced Hammer. I really... Okay, I guess we're going to play this turn. I was going to say, I really don't care about the Coco flip, flip stuff. But now, we have to kind of play it. Uh, there's a Mewtwo. That's pretty relevant. We'll put, play that. We'll play Sycamore. Discard your hand. Draw seven new cards. Come on, baby. So we get a Float Stone. Okay, so we get a Float Stone. We will trade away a Water G. Okay, we haven't hit any DCEs left, any DCEs yet. And we still do not have a DCE. Oh my goodness, this is not good, guys. This is not 
good at all. Um. Oh no. So we could retreat to Glaceon. The only problem is he can knock us out next turn with a uh, with an attack. So we'll retreat to the Glaceon. We'll put a Water Gel on the Lapras, and we're just gonna pass right now. Wow. Maybe we should have like Alcapatch to the Glaceon. Maybe I thought we hit at least a DCE. We've seen so many. We've seen so many cards in our deck, and we still haven't seen a, Gla a DCE. So there's a Zor coming down with the Eva Soda. He can't use Trade or anything. Um, that is gone as of right now. Okay. <clears throat> um, we have Stretcher, which can like put back the Eevees and stuff, or the Eevee Glaceon. If he does take a knockout, he goes for a Crossing Cut here. Hmm. It's just not. It's just not going away right now, unfortunately. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. So there's a Guzma. I'm gonna bring up the Lapras here. He's gonna say the Glisspot take a knockout with the Lapras. Okay. So there's a trade. <clears throat> Now, I guess this is, I guess not, it's still pretty bad, right? Like, he's going to take a knockout, he's going to have four prize cards, he's got double Zorak on field. Uh, he can cross and cut next turn. Oh, man, yeah, it's not good. So, trade, uh, does he find, like, an ace roll for next turn? Maybe pick up the damage Gliss pod? That's really not good either. Uh, there's a lot of bad things going our way right now, unfortunately. Uh, but we'll see, maybe we'll get lucky here. Okay, uh... I, mean, I guess we all misplayed from the start where we didn't, like, we did, did discard the Goose, but we discarded the end. I guess from there, that was, like, all went downhill from there. <sighs> Alright, so let's see. What we got here? So, first impression for the knockout doing 240, okay. And that's fine. I guess not really that fine. It's something. Alright, so into our turn. What, what do we get here? What do we find? We find a Zark. So, put down the Zark, okay. We will... Let's Pal Pad first. All right, so I'm going to pad. I'm going to put two, two ends back on our deck. <clears throat> I am going to trade away the Field Blower to get two new cards. We're looking for in this turn. In him down to four. So there's a Flowstone. Hey, there's a DC finally. So we'll trade. I think we'll discard the Glaceon. We can get it back with a Rescue Stretcher needed. And no in. All right, so put a DC on this guy. Um... Do we do anything else? I don't think so. I think I just retreat into the Glaceon and just go for the Frost Bullet. Putting 30 on a Zark. Okay. And the only thing, and why did I put the 30 on the Zark? Well, with a Choice Spin, we actually could knock it out with a Polar Spear. It does 180. Okay. So <clears throat> let's see what he got here. Does he have an Ace Roll in hand? I remember these decks only like one. Okay. There's an E Hammer discarding DC off the active. Okay. There is an Ace Roll of. That is what I was scared of. I'm not going to lie to you. Here comes Topic Coco. Here comes another Gliss Pod. Oh, no. Water you that guy. Uh, oh, yeah, Water you Grass Energy. Another Wimp Pod coming down. Uh-oh. This is bad, guys. This is bad. This is real bad. Okay. Oh, man. All right, so he's going to retreat. First pressure for 120. Okay. All right, so into our turn, what do we top deck? We top deck a floatstone. So I'm gonna uh, stretcher, shovel three, put one discard back in our deck. We're gonna put one, two, three. Okay, we do we trade first or just second more? I think I just want to second more. We'll give everybody a floatstones. Uh, choice between the active and just go for second more. There's a DCE and an E hammer. All right, so we'll trade away. The Cynthia to get two new cards. I'm looking for an EV for next turn. Alright. There is a... Okay, that's not what we want. We will trade away... Um, the Choice Fan, which I really don't want to discard. But everything is kind of really neat in the deck. We need an EV, And there's an EV for next turn. We'll put a DC on this guy. And we will go for a Frost Bullet. I'll put another 30... Do we put another 30 damage here? Uh, we could weaken it and then maybe take a knockout the following turn. Uh, now, remember, he can't, like, trade. He can't really use any of those attacks, uh, which is really nice for us. Uh, but I'm still very worried, so I'm not going to lie. How many? Oh, we're down three Aqua Patches. Well, that's not good. We're not going to be attacking next turn if he takes a knockout of this guy. Uh, he's not taking a knockout just yet. Our first person only does 30. Okay. He has to find a DC here and either go for Armor Press or Crossing Cut GX. I imagine he'll go for a Crossing Cut, though. So, is it DC to active? Okay. There's a... Floatstone going to the Wimp Pod. There's a max potion. You know, the damage off that guy. Okay. And I imagine we are going to see a crossing cut here. I don't think he'll do anything else. There's an N. Okay. 
Hmm. Now, what we could do... Oh, we got it! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We did it. Uh, we can put a DCE, uh, a Glaceon Aqua Patch, and yeah, take a knockout. So there is... Oh, we don't take a knock... Oh, yeah, we do. We do take a knockout now. Oh my goodness. Like, he first impressioned us, right? All right, he, he armor pressed us, right? So we're taking 20 less damage, but now we can uh, Glaceon. We can DCE Aqua Patch. Okay. Choice Ban. And play in. And I'm down to two. And we actually got knockout with our Frost Bullet this turn. There's a Guzma Field Blower. Uh, Field Blower is not really that relevant right now. So I'm going to retreat into the Glaceon. We'll go for that Frost Bullet attack. Put 30 on his Zark. And he can't use Trade now. He has the Guzma. He only has two cards in hand. He's going to get a third one off this card. All right, so there's an EV Sycamore onto our opponent's turn. He's definitely set on top of Coco. He's got that free retreat. Um, but next turn, we can Guzma up this guy. Take a knockout. If we want to go that way, we could maybe, I don't know. There's a Grass Ninja Glisspod. Retreat to Glisspod, okay. It's a fresh impression for 120. On our turn, we will put down EV. Put a Water. Do we only have four cards left in our deck? All right. We'll grab a Glaceon. Hmm. We have no more DCs left. All right. So I have to go for a Frost Bullet. Put 30 more damage on another Zork. We could put on a Lele. And that way we can, like, maybe a Riot is beating for it later on. I think we just put a 30, 30 on the Zork. Maybe on the other Zork. So if he doesn't get damaged by Ace Rolla. Uh, but if he has, like, a DC here, he just wins. Like, he can just Armor Press or Crossing Cut. Uh, at any moment, he hits a DCE, he just wins, because he just, like, attacks with one of these guys. Uh, looks like we prize multiple DCEs. Oh, you only have one DC prize, actually. Okay, not that bad. Not that bad as I thought it was. <clears throat> but does he, I mean, what does he find here? Does he find a DCE? There's a choice band going to the, t uh, guy. Okay, I don't care about that. There's an end, so he's going to end himself in a two. Okay. Does he find a DCE or not? He's only played, he's played two so far, all right? So maybe he doesn't have one left. Alright, well, that's gonna be the game. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's unfortunate, man. I guess it all started from, like, the start where we didn't get the turn with Glaceon. Oh, man. Alright, so let's click play. Let's play, another, let's play two more games. That was, that was, well, we, we saw near the end where the power of Glaceon almost mattered. Like, any Glisspot Zark down to low hand size. And then going that way is definitely really good. Um, but it didn't work out that game. Okay, well, we'll see two more games with the deck. Man, I wonder how like how close is Glisspot Zork matchup? I feel like if we got like the turn one Glisspot or the turn one Glaceon, it's like a totally different ball game. Like they can't use Bridget, they he couldn't get that Cynthia and all that kind of good stuff. So maybe Acro Stone. Now it looks like he's playing a Garchomp deck. Now the one problem with like Glaceon is if you play against decks that aren't Zork or like a, a, like EX GX reliant, you actually don't have that good of a deck. I don't think you do. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. I think it is still really good, though. I think it is a good deck. I think it is a good deck for sure. So they're choosing who goes first. Of course, they're going to go first. I don't see why you wouldn't. It'd be pretty insane not to, okay? So we're going to mulligan and press. Done. All right. <coughs> they're choosing their starting Pokemon. Well, they got one. They must have, Okay, maybe they don't have more. So press. Done. We get a new hand of seven. All right, so we actually have a really terrible start. Like this, oh my goodness! This is is this a sign to say like not play this deck for Charlotte? Is this what's happening right now? That's what it's starting to seem like. All right, so draws card. There's a gib Gibble, which you know I expected. It definitely looks like a Garchomp deck. There is a, a Brooklyn Hill, which you know I think would help us out, but we actually can't really search for water Pokemon. Um, like you're like, oh, you play, um, you play Glaceon, so you should get Water Pokemon. But wait, no, just kidding. Glaceon's a stage two or stage one, so it actually doesn't work. Um, yeah, so we can grab the lap prize that we already started. So there's a, a Riolu coming down. Okay, let's see what does he got here. There's an Ultra Ball, maybe for another uh, Gibble, maybe a Tapu Lele for a Bridget, and this would be another case of hey, if we went first. Uh, we could shut down Lele for Bridget, which I definitely think is what we're going to see right here. I think we're going to see a Bridget coming down. So there we see a Lele for Bridget. And we're going to have to stick more of this hand away. My opponent can take a knockout next turn on our Lapras. All right, so there's a Bridget. Like, if they play Cynthia and, like, Rare Candy Garchomp, then we just lose. Like, they just blow us up. So we have to, 
We have to play a supporter card next turn. Like, we have to dump all of this stuff. So there's a Rock Ruff, a Gibble, and a Riolu coming down. Okay. There's a Flustone going down to the Rock Ruff. Pass on to our turn. Well, we get an Aqua Patch. Now, we get, like, we could use this, but there's literally nothing in our deck that we really care about. We're going to put a Flustone on the active and just Sycamore this hand away. Like I said, if we don't, then we lose the game, essentially. Alrighty, and we still don't have a water energy. Alright, so Ultra Ball, discard these two. We are going to grab a Zora. And we'll grab the Zora just in case, like, um, I think, I mean, like I said, he could take a knockout, but, like, taking a knockout next turn is going to be, like, essentially really hard to do. Like, he has a Rare Candy, Cynthia, and I think find an energy to attack next turn to take a knockout on Lock Rest. And even if it does, we have in next turn. So there's a Cynthia. Alright, does he hit the Rare Candy Garchomp? Alrighty, that could be problematic here. Like, Rare Candy, Garchomp, Lucario. That would be insane to see right now. It's not too crazy, though. He's already played two Ultra Balls. So there's a Fighting Digital Gibble. Okay. <clears throat> there's a Choice Band going to the Gibble. Okay. But once again, like, once we attack with this, like, he's just going to blow us up every turn. He powered, he's a pair of two Gibbles right now. Uh, okay, so never enough. What is that doing? Okay. So, this could be a fighting dream. Got two new cards. Okay. So, own to our turn. I have never read give enough. All right. So, we'll put one here. We'll put a choice band here. We'll put down a Zork. And we're going to go for an N. I know we're giving him new cards or whatever, but we can't, like, trade away that one card. All right. So, we do find a water G. But now we're in the same situation. Like, what do we really do here? Uh, so we'll put a Water Gym on the EV, of course, and yeah, that's a good idea. Like, we'll definitely get the EV. I'll get the Glaceon. Kind of wish we'd, like, hit a DCE. Maybe should have traded first, like, hit a DCE and, like, knock out the Gibble. That would have been really cool to see. Uh, but we'll trade. Discard a Cynthia, draw two new cards. There's a Glaceon EV, so put on the other EV, and we are just going to pass right now. Once again, if he knocks out the Lapras, I really don't care too much about the Lapras being knocked out. It's fine. We could send the EV and let the EV get knocked out, but I'd rather get another Glaceon to play. And there is the Rare Candy Garchomp coming online. Uh, it's a card we haven't really seen yet, and Garchomp has that Royal Blades. 100 if you play a Cynthia from your hand during this turn. This deck does 100 more damage, so 200, which knocks us out. Uh, so there's a Cynthia coming down. Uh, he did Palpat 2 back in the deck, which is really nice. There is a Gabite coming down. Okay. Um, and he has 150 HP. It's going to be so hard to take a knock on this thing. We see a Fighting Injury goes reactive. Uh, we might see a Quick Dive. Uh, it doesn't knock anybody out there, so... Don't know what he'll do there. So we see Field Blower getting rid of Double Floodstone, most likely. All right. Let's see here. What does he what does he decide to do here? So there's an ultra but he's got two cards from his hand. He's probably gonna get a Lucario. Um And with Lucario, he can like search for any card in his deck, right? I don't know why he attached a fighting turn one. Like he can go for that pre precognitive aura. If you have a Garchomp in play, you search for any card and put it in your hand. He could go like another Lucario hand, just got like, two double Lucarios. Can you do that? Can you stack the Lucarios? I don't see why he couldn't. I mean, I wouldn't. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if he did that. No, we're gonna quick dive. Where does the 50 damage go to? So we're gonna put the 50 on the uh, Glaceon. All right. So in our turn, we find a Floatstone. What a top deck. All right. So put that there. We'll put a Floatstone on this guy. Um, da -da -da. we could trade and try to knock out the Gabite this this turn. So yeah, let's trade. Discarding the. Choice ban. We really don't need choice ban too much in this match. I feel like. Do we hit the DCE? We don't hit the DCE. All right. So we'll go for Cynthia here. Let's see what new cards we get. And we find a DCE and an Aqua Patch, but nothing to Aqua Patch just yet. So we'll put a DCE here. We will retreat into the Glaceon, and we'll go for Frost, but doing 30 damage to the Gabite, I guess. All right. But if he has a Fighting Energy and a Cynthia, which he can easily get Cynthia every turn because Lucario, he can take a knockout this turn, which is, like, pretty bad. So, Fibbler again. Goodness gracious. All right, getting rid of our Floatstone uh, and Choice Band. I don't care too much about the Choice Band. Uh, but the Floatstones are really bad just because I want to send up somebody else's turn and, like, like Aqua Patch this guy. But what we could do this turn, actually, is um, send up a Zork and, unfortunately, have to, like, Attach a DC to Zork and knock out this Garchomp. But now this Garchomp, uh, if he falls into Garchomp, we can knock out this Garchomp next turn. All right, so there's a Garchomp coming out. Okay, so he has two Garchomps. So if he takes a knockout here, this Zork could potentially take a knockout on this guy. 
And then we can knock out this Garchomp because it has 120 HP left. So that's really nice. I, th I think that's what we're going to do here. We're going to put the Zork, Aqua Patch, Eevee, Sycamore, and just hope we find a DC for next turn, or this turn coming up. Yeah, that seems like the best play, I think. So Pal Patch shoving two more Cynthia's back into his deck. Oh my goodness. All right, so yeah, two Cynthia's go back in there, okay? He hasn't even played a single DC yet. So those are Royal Blades for the knockout. All right, do a 200 damage. Going out of four. We'll set up our Zork. All right, so in our turn, we will Aqua Patch. Man, we hit a Water G. That's unfortunate. But I, mean, I guess we get Sycamore and still be okay. So Water G there, Eevee, uh, Sycamore. Just cutting out the Zork. And we don't have it just yet. All right, so we'll uh, let it for one Water. My goodness, there's only one DC left in the deck. How many have we played so far? Just Okay, we played two so far. We will trade away a Water. All right, so we do have a knockout this turn. Um, we can do all this stuff, right? So we'll get another energy here. We will retreat into the Glaceon. Put on the other Eevee. And we will go for a Frost Bullet Attack. Uh, the 30, I guess, is going to go on the Rock Ruff. Okay. So taking a knockout. Go down to five prize cards. But... He can take a knockout here. Like, he just needs a DCE, and he's just like, all right, I'll just take a knockout. Like, that's kind of what he does this turn if he, if he finds a DCE. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah, this is uh, kind of problematic here. So, there's a Sudowoodo with a Watch and Learn. Oh, no. That's really bad. Um, the reason why it's bad is, like, Watch and Learn. Like, well, he has to... Okay, so he has to put energy on the Lucario. On the Garchomp, right? He has to put energy on Garchomp this turn. So, the DC is deactivated. We'll see another Lucario get Precognitive Aura. Going to find a, um, he's definitely going to find a Cynthia's turn. Take a knock on the active. And it's going to be up to us to find a DCE for next turn to knock out this Garchomp. Man, it's just, it's just not going our way right now. And like I said, like I said earlier, if you play against a deck that's really not like GX or EX, like very heavy GX or EX, then you, you just have like a bad deck, I think. All right, so Royal Blades for the knockout. Going on two price cards. Okay. So we're going to send up the Zork. We will, yeah, we have to put down all this stuff. And there's the DC top deck. Wow. All right. So we'll put down Glaceon, put a DC to the active, and go for an N. Now we still need to find one more Pokemon. And we find one. All right. So <clears throat> we'll put down the Zoro. And we will just go for a Riot is beating. We will trade, discard the Ultra Ball. We really don't need any other cards to search for. So the end of choice band. So we'll go for the riot is beating for 120. All right. Go down to four price cards. Now he does have double precognitive ore, which is very, very scary. Um, and we don't have no more DCs left in the deck as well. So that's another scary thing for us. So let's see what happens here. He needs to find um, a max elixir energy. Max elixir. Uh, no. He just needs. Yeah, energy max elixir. Uh, da, 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 this guy, whatever his next stage is. <laughs> so there's a timer ball. Gonna search for evolutions if he flips heads here. Okay, heads and tails. Now he can't actually use precognitive ore because he doesn't have any of his guys in play. Ooh, yeah, that's actually really good. Since we got rid of his Garchomp, he has no way to really use precognitive ore now. Yeah, that's actually really good. So we see a Lycanroc come down. Now this is fine. That Lycanroc comes down. Yeah, he can use Bloodthirst, Guys, and Brank Smarty up. He's going to bring up the Lapras. But, um, there's a Cynthia as well. Oh, great. Um, da -da -da. Does he have a Fighting Energy for, Lycan for Lycanroc? That is a question that we need to ask ourselves. But now, we're going to Fighting Energy to Widow, And that's fine. Because what we could do is maybe power up this, this is Lapras. Um, yeah, I think that's a play here. So, put an Energy here. Well, Guzma... Bring up his son Widow, send in our Zark. Um, we'll go. For, we'll tr do we trade at all? I think we just like we'll, we'll trade away the Ultra Ball. We really don't need it. Okay. So there's an Aqua Patch. We'll Aqua Patch the Lapras. Okay, and we will just write his beating for the knockout. 
And like what he could have done was put an energy on Lucario or Lycanroc and take out a knockout next turn, but he decided not to. That's fine with me. There's a DC, which is good. That's a good card to have for us. Uh, we'll see the Lucario coming up. Okay. Now what we could do next turn is Blizzard Burn to knock out a guard job if he does come in play. There we see a DC going to the Lycanroc. And my play next turn is a Goose with the Lycanroc and go for a Ice Beam Jax and actually paralyze it. Um is the best play I think we have right now. So you see Ultra Ball discarding a Bridget and a Choice Fan, okay? Um, actually, we can, we can actually Blizzard Burn to knock out this Lycanroc, since we put 30 on it. Oh my goodness, yes, yeah, 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 that's actually really good. All right, so we see that coming out. So pass on to our turn. Yeah, what we could do this turn is Guzma, bring up this guy, send him this thing. We'll put a Water Gene active, put a Choice Fan, and go for a Blizzard Bird for the knockout. Oh my goodness, that 30 damage we did to Rock Ruff. I was trying to like knock out the rock like on the bench, like whatever. So it's a field blower and a water energy, okay? How many Guzmans have we played? I think we played three so far. Okay, so we don't have a, we don't have a way to out yet. But if we just have guard up here, we actually gonna win the game. We can just retreat and go for righteous beating. Um So this is Cynthia. Does he find a guard chop this turn? And even if he does, wait, we just can't oh this Pokemon can't attack next turn. Okay, that's a little bad. So timer ball, tails, and tails. Well he flipped double heads earlier, so that's all fair right now. This is super rod, okay. Um, so three fighting going to his hand, okay, to his deck, sorry. Huh. So this stretcher shuffle stuff, some more stuff back into his deck. And I think no matter what, we don't retreat. I think we just keep the Lapras in our hand because he's. I mean, if he has an energy this turn, it might be different. Oh, he can pre cognitive aura for an energy. Oh no. Who did he send up here? That's my question. <coughs> oh, man. Okay. There's a, I actually put the DC in the Rock Ruff. Interesting. Okay. Well, he does a, one more like Rock, maybe? All right. So he's going to go for another Precognitive Aura. Just going to keep using the ability since he has that one Garchomp play. There is a like Rock coming down. And who's he gonna, is he going to bring up somebody? Just to keep an active spot? It's gonna bring up the Glaceon. How many DCs? Oh, we played three Flowstones. There's one Flowstone left in our deck. Or somewhere, right? Yeah, the deck plays four. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We can win right now. Oh my goodness. We oh we can trade to discard the uh oh wait, we we do we just win? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop, 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 Josh. Stop, stop, stop. I need I need to stop. I need to stop this action. Josh, stop this action right now. Oh my goodness. We could have won right now. Oh my goodness. We could have pal pad two Guzmas in the deck and then brought up whoever won to win. Oh my goodness. Pokemon, I need to stop. I need to, Pokemon, I need to stop this interaction right now. Where's the cancel button? I need to cancel right now. Oh my goodness. What? All right. So, hold on. How many fill? Okay. Have we played Stretcher yet? All right, so no matter we have we have the game, no matter what, I'm pretty sure. Because we need Flowstone or Stretcher. One of those two cards, we can't have both this prize. And that's going to be... What? We play already play a Stretcher? Does that guy play Stretcher? Does it play three float? I thought it played four. What happened? What just happened here? Uh, we still win, though. We put a DC deactive. Uh, retreat, take a knockout. Yep. <laughs> All right, so we'll for the knockout. I mean, yeah, so we should... What is our last card? Is it Stretcher? Do we play... Yeah, so we only play three full... I thought we played four for a second. I guess we only play three. All right. Well, that was a good game there. We'll see another game of the deck. <laughs> I forgot. I didn't know how many played. I, I forgot. I'm not going to lie to you. All right, so here we go, guys. Um, On to game number three. All right, so Alex Wilson, Texas, playing a fire deck. All righty, so fire. All right, so heads. Let's see what we get here. There is. We won the coin club. Fantastic. Yes, we'll go first. Own our turn. Can we please get the turn one? Of course. We're going to start the one lap press again. Thank you, Pokemon. Hopefully, we top deck Eevee. Hopefully, we top deck Ultra Ball. Hopefully, we top deck. Uh, there's a lot of different things we could top deck here. All right, so there's okay. Well, I guess we'll go for Cynthia. Can't really do anything else, man. <laughs> well, we can put a water gene in the active and pass. Great, great start. No ultra balls. I give it an ultra ball there. That hit him is so good. Like ultra ball, some water energies away and something. Got an EVL, touch a water energy. 
It would have been going places. So Ultra Ball, there's a Ho GX. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, so Ho coming down. There's a Max Luxor to the Ho. If you Lele's for Kiao, I'd be so mad at myself. All right, well, uh, oh, nope. He's just going to he's just gonna try to knock us out turn one. Oh my goodness. Does he find two Max Luxors? That'd be insane to see. I'd be so scared if he does that. Like, we would just lose. I wouldn't be scared. We just, we just lost if that happens. And he's with the lightning. Just, just to point that out. So there's a regular coming out, okay? And this is one of those other like I don't really care about my GX or EXs kind of Pokemon deck, uh, unfortunately, which is weird to say because it's fire. But on to our turn, we get an E Hammer. It's not gonna help us. So we're in. Okay, we'll put down an Eevee. Uh, I'll Ultra Ball discard a Guzman Eevee. To grab a Zora. We will put down a Zora, put down an Eevee, and I guess we'll collect for three cards. <laughs> Alright, we do find a Glacier next turn and an Ultra Ball for a Zora. So that's actually really good cards that we just drew into. Like Ultra Ball in whatever, Sycamore, whatever. Because uh, if he wants to take a knockout this turn, he actually has to use the Phoenix Burn attack to knock out the Lapras. Now he could Guzma, but then Sick and Fire doesn't take a knockout either. It only does 50 damage to one of our bench Pokemon. I don't care about that. It's fine. So, will he use the good old Phoenix Burn attack or not? Oh, man. Decisions, decisions for my opponent. Hmm. Uh, he also needs to hit a Max Luxor. Um, he doesn't have it just yet. There's a Flowstone. Going to the Ringaru. Sorry, he has for a treat. It doesn't matter. Um, um, yeah. Oh, man. I'm just so upset that, like, <laughs> we just haven't. I don't think we got a two and Glacier in the game. Any of the games. Good showing for the deck. There's a Guzma. Gonna bring up these. Okay, bring up the Eevee, okay? Send him as a Ringaru. Is his hand that bad? That's my question. Is his hand that bad that he has to go for this route? Um. Huh. Now. Okay, Super Rod, shove back in some stuff. One Fire Energy, okay? There's a Flusto going to this star. He's going to struck for one. He must have, like, no supporter card in his hand. Obviously, he doesn't have any supporter cards in his hand. Because he wouldn't be doing this if he had a supporter card in hand, Josh. So, here goes the... Uh oh we're going to see a Sacred Fire do 50 to somebody. Probably to the active, maybe. Maybe to the Zora. It's like, so we don't have trades? Yep, that's what I thought. All right. <laughs> so, on our turn, uh, Ultra Ball discard the N and Flustone. To grab a Zor GX. Okay. We'll put down Zorg GX. We'll put a Glacier on the bench. And we'll Sycamore. Now, what I'm hoping to do is put a Water Genie active. Um, da, da, da. All right, well, we don't. So a trade. <clears throat> Mewtwo could be really relevant in this matchup. So I'm going to discard a Field Blower to get two new cards. Can we get a Tasher for turn? The answer is yes. All right, so put a Water Genie here. Yes. We will grab a Glaceon. And this is why we have two Glaceons. Now, we could Ultra Ball for another Glaceon. Uh, but what I'm going to do this turn is actually get another Zork, Azora. So, I'm going to uh, let her get two Water Energies. I'm going to Ultra Ball and discard the two Water Energies. To grab a second Zora. So, Ultra Ball discard one and two. We'll grab a Zora. We will put down the Zora. We will Field Blower to get rid of the Choice Pin off the active. And then a Flowstone right here. And we'll pass. Really nothing else to do this turn. All right, so let's see. Next turn, if we find a... Well, I guess if we just find a DC and start swinging, that's all essentially we really need is a DC and start swinging. Uh, we haven't played a single Alka Patch, okay. There's a Fire Energy active. He has to find another Choice Band here. So Sycamore, just kind of Kiawe, and a Fire Energy. Does he find a... Um, choice Band? Now, let's see. Can Mewtwo take a knockout? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 130. Mewtwo could actually be really promising in this match. But that's why I haven't discarded it. So, ho oh, GX come down. There we see Sacred Fire. Just going to do 50 damage to somebody. Who's he going to do the, the 50 to? Maybe the Zora? Uh, Zora's already in range of being knocked out. No, go put 50 on the active. Guess somewhere, right? Oh, top big DCE. Look at there. Uh, I'll put a Flowstone on the Zork. What choice made the other Zork? Oh, do we put down Mewtwo? I think we're gonna put a Mewtwo, put Choice Band on it, and just second more. Yeah. <clears throat> Alrighty. Well, this card's pretty irrelevant, so we're gonna discard the uh, Enhanced Hammer. 
All right, we got an Aqua Patch, which is nice. We can put on the other Glaceon. So we can't, like, have two Glaceons powered up now. We'll go for that Brass Bull attack with 30 on the uh, other Ho-Oh. Now, the problem with 30 here is we realistically can take a... It doesn't change the numbers. It has 168. Oh, I guess it does, actually. Yeah, it does. It does, Josh. What are you talking about? Uh, if you have Choice Span and you go for the uh, the Polar Spear GX, you can knock out the, the Ho-Oh GX, which is really nice. Now... <clears throat> Um, we did a find. Oh man, we should have put a choice on the active, Josh. What were you thinking? I put down Lele, which just can't be used because we have the Glaceon GX on play. Phoenix Burn for 180 for the knockout. Okay. Uh huh. Mm hmm. So put down the Zark. Alright, so in our turn, we get a Cynthia. Alright. So I'm going to trade. Discard a Water G draw two new cards. We need a choice ban. All right, so put down the Eevee. Um, we get Aqua Patch. Attach a water. Yeah, Aqua Patch to this guy. Play a Water G. Uh, go for Cynthia. Let's see. Can we find a choice ban? Hey, all right, choice ban this guy. We will treat and to the Glaceon. And we will Frost Bullet. I'll put 30 damage to the Lele. <clears throat> that way, Zora can knock it out later. It doesn't knock it out just yet, but it's, it's pretty close. It's pretty close. So, Sycamore and a Guzma. Okay. All right. So, what can my opponent do here? Pretty much nothing, <laughs> which is weird to say. Because, like, they can Kiawe, but then, like, we have Guzma in hand to knock out his, his OGX. There we see a Turtonator. Turtonator could be... It's actually really bad for him because he's weak to water. Like, Lapras could take a knockout. Uh, we could just, like, hit it for 180. Right now, we have Choice Band, so we do two, two, 240, 9, 10, 11, 12. We do 240 to it, which is really nice. Okay, there's a Sycamore. Discarding his hand, draw seven new cards. Wow. All right, so he's digging for a Fire G, I imagine. But once he does this, like, who cares? Like, we can just put 30 on the Ho GX, take a knockout the following turn. There's the yeah, Volcano coming down. Volcano doesn't matter. There's a Field Blower. Get rid of our Choice Band, maybe. Uh, but we have another Choice Band we can attach to the active. Does he go for that Nitro Tank GX tag? There's a choice band. Go to the Ho GX. There's a Max Elixir. Okay. Put a Fighter Gen, that guy. <clears throat> and we're actually just going to knock it out next time he doesn't do anything with it. We can Goose my Flowstone Choice Band, take a knockout. Maybe trade away like a second more or something. So yeah, we're like really good to win this game. Um, We'll trade, discard the Sycamore, draw two new cards. I'm looking for the other Zarg. That'd be really nice. There's a Pal Pad. So I'm gonna Guzma, bring up his Ho oh Send in the non damaged guy. Floatstone, Choice Ban, DCE, Glaceon. We'll play as many cards as we can down. Uh, we're Aqua Patch to the Lapras, just so we can tackle it the next one if we need to. We'll Pal Pad, shuffle the Guzmas back in our deck. Uh, retreat. And use our GX attack here. Yo, Polish Spear GX for the knockout. Uh, doing 180 damage. All right, so there we go. Go down to two price cards. We find a Rescue Stretcher and a Ultra Ball. Uh, Ultra Ball can't get us another Zorak out. But, I mean, we have Guzma next turn. We can knock out whoever we want to with the... Uh, well, not whoever we want to, but we can pretty much knock out the Volcanian. That's 100 HP next turn. Second so of you. I mean, there's a Starry coming online. It doesn't really matter. He gets Space Peak and sure, get Fire Jesus to play. But, I mean, if he sends a Turtonator and doesn't get rid of our uh, Choice Band, we're going to knock it out. So there's the end. We go down to two. We have three Guzmas in the deck. Remember that. We just put two back in. All right. There's a Zork and a Guzma. So that is going to be game. And there we go. Guys, we did it. And there's a big screen coming down regardless. Um, he, I mean... He, I mean, what, he could have retreated to Angry Anger. That's pretty much it. But, guys, there we go. There's the Glaceon deck. I know game number three, we actually, like, played against a, a fire deck, which is kind of... Uh, you know, no, we played against Ho, so I guess it's a little bit different. Uh, but, guys, there we go. Um, Yeah, there's Glaceon and Zark. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Have a great Monday. And we'll see you tomorrow for another deck for uh, Charlotte Regionals. Alrighty, bye.